Lately, I've, I've, as I've gotten older, I've, I've considered myself uh, very much a kind of Latino-Americano, just for lack of better words, because um, I, I identify with both cultures. I mean, I'm very American in the way I think, you know, and, and I don't realize that until I go to other countries and I'm like, oh, wow, I'm really American, uh, just because I'm brought up in that culture. But um, I consider myself Latino-Americano, and Latino is such a diverse culture in itself. Are you familiar with the term Afro-Latino? Uh, what about Afro-Descendiente? I am, absolutely. Um, you know, not only because of my husband, but because of, um, you know, other people that are very close to me that are from the similar backgrounds as, as Tony. Yeah, uh, the very first time I've ever heard, I ever heard that term, um, my mom used it. I remember being in grade school and um, we were checking out the, the boxes, you know, what are you? And I was like, well, there wasn't a box for Mexican, there wasn't a box for Panamanian. It was just, you know, you're white, Pacific Islander, Asian, black, and Latino. And then my mom was like, well, you know, you're mixed. You're Mexican, you're Panamanian, you're black, and you're Latino. And um, she was playing around with words, and she was like, you're Africano, you're Latino. That was the first time I ever heard it, so I couldn't, you know.